It yeah. was an old church. And it was yeah. built in 1750, I think. Yes, it was. And it was bombed in World War II. Yes, it's very old. Welcome to our family vlog. We recently backed our home in the southern tip of Africa and moved to Europe, where we live in a small island in the Mediterranean. This episode, we moved to the three cities, explore a cave with a legendary story. I heard noises coming from the deep darkness of the cave. Walk to Burger Marina and visit a forgotten chapel bombed in World War II. Join us by subscribing to our journey. After living in a temporary apartment for a while, we moved into a townhouse in Kospikwa, which forms part of the three cities. The streets are narrow, traditional Maltese architecture and beautiful passages all over the city. According to Google, Malta is 3,858 times smaller than South Africa. That is 0.03% the size of South Africa. That's small. Very, very small. However, there's over 350 churches on this island. Most of them really love to ring their bells. This massive cruise liner coming in. During the 13th century, the three cities was controlled by the Phoenicians. In the 16th century, it became home to the Knights of St. John. During World War II, it was the Mediterranean headquarters of the Royal Navy, and today, it's home of many super yachts offering amazing walks any time of the day. Anin also used the opportunity to show the kids some skill on their scooters. She was done up in leather and breathing her fire, yeah. She was out on the floor taking everyone higher, yeah. She said, hey baby, don't you know that I'm a dancer? She said, hey baby, I'm a question to you. Back in a day, when I lived here alone, I explored many places. One day, I was sitting in Garrison's cave, admiring the view, and all of the sudden, I heard noises coming from the deep darkness of the cave. At first, I thought it's an animal. Then the sound came alive. I had goosebumps and tightened my grip on a nearby rock. It was covered in soil. A very nice gentleman who entered a cave approximately 100 meters away. He shared a story, one of many legends apparently. On a stormy night, an Arab man named Hassan climbed up a 50 meter cliff 
and entered a cave for shelter. The next day he abducted a Maltese girl from a nearby village and kept her imprisoned inside the cave. The Maltese community stormed the cave to save the girl and in the act of panic, Hassan threw her over the cliff and jumped after her, never to be seen again. The irony of having kids is when you bring two flashlights to a cave, they grab both, take the lead and leave you in the dark to bump your head on every rock. You're walking, you're crawling, not to bump your head. Although this is an amazing opportunity for all of us, there are days when you miss what's been home all your life. We are blessed with many South African friends. And then there are days where you go to the shop and you find something that makes the world a little bit smaller for a moment. Okay, check this out. And while a hike with friends offers amazing views, a walk in town have its own surprises. When the girls aim for a bench to get some rest, the boys make plans to climb the fortified walls. What did you get? I got my mom a flower. Beautiful. On top, one finds a crater caused by a World War II bomb. Inside, a forgotten chapel with a hole in the roof and paintings on the walls. Wow! 